to Jerusalem, oh, we are marching over to Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem, well, we are marching over to Jerusalem, oh, we are marching over to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. This morning, come on, Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem. We are marching, we are marching over to Jerusalem, oh we are marching over to Jerusalem, 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 oh Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem. One more time, well. your name on high oh let's sing lord i love to sing your praises and i'm so glad you're in my life oh are you glad this morning i'm so glad you came to save oh you came from heaven to show the way from the earth to the cross my death to pay and from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky oh lord i lift your name on high oh lord i lift your name Say, oh Lord, Lord, I love to sing your praise. Oh, I'm so glad, Lord, I'm so glad you're in my life. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Well, and I'm so glad you came. 
came to save me. Oh, you came from heaven, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay, and from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven, Lord. You came from heaven to show us the way. From the earth to the cross, to the cross. Oh, my death to pay. Oh, from the cross to the grave. Oh, from the grave to the sky. Your name on high. One more time, you came from heaven, you came from heaven to show us the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the grave to the sky. Your name on high. Oh, you just worship him this morning. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I lift your name on high this morning. I give you the highest praise this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah, hallelujah, oh Lord, you came from heaven to earth to show you from the earth to the dead to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I live your name on high. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, is there a praise in the house this morning? Oh, hallelujah. Are you here to lift his name? Why don't you turn around and greet your brother, greet your sister, just one more time. Hallelujah. Oh, how he loves you and me.
time with all your heart. Let's sing. Oh, sing it. Oh, how he. Worship the Lord while the music plays. Just you worship Him in your own way. That's a beautiful song. It speaks to our hearts. It doesn't talk about your love for him. It talks about his love for you. It's not about you. It's all about him. Oh, how he loved you and me. Think about it now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, love loves you and me. Oh, for He gave His life more than He do. Let's give the Lord a shout of praise this morning. giving God praise for a successful surgery for my son my son had on last Monday for his blessing in my everyday life also want to thank for those who prayed on Sunday God bless you sister Tricia Gomez giving God praise and the sister from New York sister Martha Babio she want to give God praise also she passed all the exams she was asking for prayer for examinations she's successful also we want to bow our heads we want to pray for our mom Angelina Aduma, she has a cataract in her eyes and she won't go to touch her and heal her. He's still a healer. Yeah. The prophet was taken away, but the angel was not taken away. Yeah. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let's bow our head and close our eyes. Father, we thank you that your love still extends to us in this dark and evil day to shine light in our pathway. And Father, we pray that your virtue, that your strength, that your healing virtue would flow to Sister Martha, Lord, Sister Angelina, Father, in a special way, and may you take away that cataract, Lord. May you heal her. May the angel of God pass by her neighborhood, and may the virtue of Christ, the Word, go out to her, Father, and touch her in a special way. May we have a testimony of the healing virtue of Christ ministering to her. And anyone here who didn't have a chance to put in a prayer request, 
need not touch from heaven lord may you come in a special way and speak to our hearts we wait on you this evening in jesus name we ask it amen and amen before i take a seat just shake somebody's hand next to you hallelujah amen oh it's good to be here this morning amen. you may be seated praise god hallelujah well god bless you and welcome to our sunday morning service amen. how many were blessed last sunday amen. amen tremendously blessed the angel of the covenant we were so blessed what an atmosphere but anthony god bless you may god continue to anoint you and inspire you amen and give your words of life to feed this generation this generation amen well how many under great expectation this morning yeah. i am i am under great expectation to see what the lord will do among us because he promised to come among us promised to speak to our hearts to minister to needs our needs and that's what we come here for to get our souls ministered unto amen we had a tremendous time on tuesday that gathering here praise god a tremendous time tremendous anointing praise god but isaac hallelujah that was really really powerful tuesday night hallelujah i am blessed to see what i'm seeing praise god i am blessed amen so before we get into the service that we have for you this morning i want to just share a few thoughts with you from the prophet's message question and answers with a brother god has a hard time trying to get somebody that he could deal with that will stay humble and meek and stay in the place until god calls him to do something you believe that Amen. see a man that god can bless and he will still keep himself a man and not be an angel or a god As soon as a man gets blessed and has a little just a, a little something given to him I like oh but a random phrase that a little something just just a little something given to him he wants to be a god he wants to become an angel he wants to become some great person what I do me me mine all that that's the wrong attitude God's hunting for somebody who he could bless, pour out the blessings, and the more he is blessed, the littler the man will become. And you will never get more of God until you become nothing. You have got to belittle yourself. He that will exalt himself, God will bring a beast. And he will humble himself, God will exalt you have got to get little before you can get big Amen. and you will never be big in your own self you will be only as big as god will be big in you yes. or could we give the lord a shout on that one and this is from so this is the time is this a sign of the answer now i do not believe that there's anything that he has spoken all these years of my life that i have spoke to the people but what come to pass now many people have come with dreams and he would let me by his grace interpret for the people many has come with dreams and with problems that i was unable to interpret and i haven't tried to introduce to you people a gimmick that has all the answers i've tried to be honest to tell you what was truth and i could only tell you as he told me and then as it come to me i could tell you and i want to warn you in this day that we are living in not saying anything against people but when you see a man when you see a person that's got the answer to everything that's contrary to the word amen. the amen song in light on that one i want it to be clear this is no gimmick thing we we have all the answers no 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 i want to warn you he said when you see a person that got the answer to everything that is contrary to the word Amen. jesus said there were many lepers in the days of elijah but only one was healed 
In the many years, the eight year more that Elijah lived, one leper was healed. Many widows in the days of Elisha, he was only sent to one. And we find out that there are many things that God does that he doesn't reveal to his servants. I'm not hearing you. I want to hear a bigger amen than that. Yeah. Many things that God does that he does not reveal to his servant and no servant is greater than his Lord. And God will not share his glory with nobody. He is God. Oh, give the Lord a shout in the house. And when a servant comes to a place he tries to take the place of God some of them do that you know the plain God then God takes his life and moves him away somewhere or something we must remember that so I trust that these few things will edify you because that's what you get here for edify you and we could be judged by the word because every gift is going to be judged every man is going to be judged all of us are going to be judged by the word Oh, hallelujah. So we're not trying to compare ourselves with William Branham and his experience like years ago. There was a brother who used to preach all kind of things. He used to sit down and preach, preach for two hours. Not preach, really talk, talk. They were talkers in those days. And he said, Brother Branham, uh, melt a cigarette pack in the forest and preach a man called Thinking Man's Filter. So he can meet a fan. He can meet a, a box of matches. He can meet anything and be a sermon from that. So all of them playing mini prophet. They could just take a word and get an experience and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. So you find out that I am not interested in those sideshows, I call them. Those experiences that belong to Brother Branham. And here's why. You have to look at, listen carefully, not so much the prophet, you know, but the prophet's prophecy. Amen. Let me say that again. Not the prophet, but the prophet's prophecy you see the prophecy said that they would stagger yes. with and have on a lips uh, staggering lips and tongues and so the prophecy said that now if you're watching jesus you could say jesus never stagger jesus never speak in tongues and and, and fall along in the upper room and no 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 so you're watching jesus but you're not watching the prophecy yeah. what jesus fulfilled was his prophecy yeah. what is for you is your prophecy so you have to understand that the scriptures prophesy certain things to be fulfilled. Amen. So it didn't prophesy we will be like Brother Branham, have a hat and go and hunt and so on. I'm not living in that kind of area and so on. There's a scripture for you to be fulfilled. Isn't that right? Amen. So you don't watch the, just the prophet, but you watch the prophet's prophecy. Amen. What is to be here for this time? Look how much mockery of Brother Branham for prophesying about the car shaped like an egg that you don't need steering wheel and it was controlled by some power. Look how they mock and make fun and look how they have it right now and it's normal 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 but he said before the end science will increase so powerfully that they will create the car that don't need a steering wheel he saw people sitting in it and they were playing cards or playing games and whatnot and it was taking them to the destination but well, that's what they have now that's what they're coming up with now why we are nearing the end Praise God. He said before the end, this is supposed to happen. Well, we see it coming in front of us. But we are near in the end. Then there's going to be a bright revival. Why? We are near in the end. There's going to be a super church, a super race. Why? We are near in the end. When the power of this church rises, it will bring the brethren. We are near in the end. Praise God. Men are failing for fear. We are near in the end. Russia coming in position. We are near in the end. Praise God. Hallelujah. The power is moving in the church. We are near in the end. The anointing thing gonna get greater and greater move higher and higher why we are near in the end there's got to be a people prepared why we are near in the end God can't leave us in this state we can't meet the challenge hour in this state something have to happen praise the name of the Lord do you understand what I'm saying we had 50 years of this I'm you not hearing what I'm saying this morning Oh, glory to God. 50 years of mechanics, mechanics, teaching and preaching of the word. We have to switch over the dynamics of the spirit to drive the people to Calvary. Then into the rapture, you're going to die. You're going to rot. You're going to travail. You're going to groan. Your money can't take your hand. Neither your job or your rank or your post or your house or your car. You need a rapture in faith to take you in. You need a power to take you in. 
oh hallelujah with all your plans you're making make sure god in the center of all that plan oh give the lord a shout it's later than you think the lamb is speaking like a dragon hallelujah and the bride have, the bride have to speak with the voice of god because the voice of god will be in the bride in the last days oh hallelujah praise god it's a shaking time you know let be seated we're going to get in the scripture shortly but brother ram says when christ was going to calvary so much scriptures being fulfilled in such a short time you see it's dragged on but then when the wheel begins to turn it's thing after thing after thing happening praise god i'm telling you it will be something else you know but i'm saying revival strikes since this guy even washed the dishes praise god have the problems upon your mind you wouldn't it wouldn't no longer be a problem those petty little nonsense playing in your mind praise god but you'll shit it all so fast all what you can overcome all what you can jump over all come on you can shake off praise god you will shake that off praise god hallelujah glory to god hallelujah glory hallelujah go give the lord a shout my 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 hallelujah praise god you may be seated praise god you have to experience walking with the word you have to experience that walking with their word god said so god said so god said so yeah feel it yeah touch it you ain't experience it but god said it god can't lie god is not a man that would lie if god said it god big enough to keep it god promise it hallelujah he's gonna keep it god said so i don't need a feeling to believe it god said it did god say it oh hallelujah hallelujah satan that's what god said and if god said it that, that settles it don't tell me anything about it don't question me about it don't try to twist it here and twist it here leave it like it is it's thus said the lord enoch walked with god with mechanics with the word and god took him his mechanic became dynamics that woman with the blood issue she told herself you talk about problems she first problem she had was her husband husband didn't want her to go to that small church husband didn't want to hear that preacher called jesus making rab as it was on the outside of jerusalem but she pressed her way husband didn't want to give her no money to get transportation she pressed her way husband trying to discourage her you're not gonna make it you will dead you will die but she pressed her way the journey was hard because she had a blood issue the ride was rough but she had a blood issue but that didn't stop her hallelujah because she was going somewhere she was getting somewhere she had a choice to stay home and die or move forward in faith to a man of god that was standing there she decided to move in faith hallelujah she told herself i don't want to waste my time going to church sitting in a pew something you gotta tell yourself something she told herself if i could just touch the helm of his garment i know i'll be made whole i'll be made whole i mean she told herself something you got to speak to yourself praise god when god is not even talking to you say something to yourself oh give the lord a shout is there any shelters in the house you can tell yourself i'm gonna get a breakthrough today i'm gonna to be healed today i'm gonna to get a victory today i'm gonna to raise above depression today i'm going to press out break out strike out today you may be seated she didn't cater for the crowd And God will arrange it. A lot of things that confront you and that you meet you, you in cater for. Because some of you like to have your own way. And you never cater for the opposition to how you think, how you feel, how you see it. All you cater is for you because you're selfish and it's all about you. What you like, what you want, what you choose, what you feel you're supposed to have, how it's supposed to be. It's all about you. But with that woman, she told herself, if I could touch not if i send a letter out requesting a prayer request or doing that no if i could touch that means she had to get up from where she was she had to make movements to go with her testimony if i could touch 
she couldn't ask somebody touch him for me touch him for me that not working if I could touch what are you telling yourself this morning I'm the first hedge around was the people big men strong men spiritual men men looking super spiritual dead men walking dead living dead dead woman all types surrounding Jesus part of the crowd set and God had reached it like a backdrop of what are you going to do when you are determined when you are desperate and when you know this is your last ticket to get out of what you're in what you're going to do she pressed away I guess the first time it had to be rough to say to somebody excuse me I have a mission to get there excuse me it had to be rough to, to part your way you know because it, it can't be easy all that crowd there nobody ain't have no room it's jesus talking about this is the man who raising dead healing sick breaking bread and multiplying it everybody around jesus he's popular everybody is talking about this man called jesus and she is just one of them but she was not just one of them she was one of them with a faith that spoke to herself that I have to get where no man went before I have to touch where nobody touched before I have to make scriptures that's how she was she was different different room she was going to break she was going to break the barrier she was going to break whatever opposition whatever hindrance she was going to break out you know the story she pressed and pressed and pushed went below legs went above roll over she got her dress dirty but when she finally got to jesus she touched she did what she said and if you told yourself this morning i'm here to praise god i'm here to worship i'm here to glorify god because the worshiper once purged oh hallelujah you gotta be a worshiper to be purged worshiper once purged no more remembrance hallelujah cleanse purge purify oh could be give the lord a shout as we stand praise the lord so this morning we want to go to ephesians 1 revelation chapter 5 first scripture reading ephesians 1 we want to read for verse 3 to 14 revelation 5 we didn't want to 10 Ephesians 1 verse 3 blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavy places in Christ according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ himself according to the good pleasure of his will to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace wherein he had abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he had purposed in himself that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in christ both which are in heaven which are on earth even in him in whom also we have obtained here we go an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worked all things after the counsel of his own will that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in christ in whom ye also trusted after you hear the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also after ye believed ye were sealed with that holy spirit of promise which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchase possession unto the praise of his glory Revelation chapter 5 i want to read from verse 1 and i saw in the right hand of him that sat in the throne a book written within and on the backside see with seven seals and i saw a strong angel proclaim with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof and no man in heaven nor on earth neither under the earth was able to open the book neither to look thereon and i wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book neither to look thereon and and one of the elders said unto me weep not behold the lamb and the tribe of judah the root of david had prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seas thereof and i beheld and lo in the midst of the throne and the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb that had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of god 
sent forth into all the earth and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne when he had taken the book the four beasts the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors which are the praise of the saints and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seas thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed us to god by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto our god kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth let's bow our heads with a prayer almighty god we thank you for your word we thank you for this book today that is still open oh jesus may you speak from that book may we hear from that book may each person hear their name and go free unlock the mystery of who they are that they could leave here with a consciousness of god a consciousness of who they are and where they come from and where they're going granted lord in jesus name we ask it amen and amen you may be seated praise the name of the lord This morning, I have a title, The Redemption of the Purchase Possession. Amen. That's my title this morning. The Redemption of the Purchase Possession. And I have an inspiration, The Coming of the Lord. Amen. I have a context scripture from 2 Peter 3. And I want to read it from verse 3. 2 Peter 3, verse 3. This is read. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust this is part of the package of the last days yeah. scoffers and saying this is important now saying where is the promise of his coming yeah. ah. for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning i see no change where is the promise of his coming well william branham was the promise of his coming yeah. behold i send you elijah before the terrible day of the lord yeah. William Branham, Malachi 4 scripture, that was the promise. Amen. I give you a message that will forerun my coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Elias is already come. Yes. What they don't know, the Lord already descended with a shout, yes. which is a message. Woo. Hallelujah. The Lord himself yes. already descended, started to descend already Amen. with a shout, then a voice, then a trump. Yes. But he is coming. Amen. He is on his way. Yes. We are making ready for the coming of the Lord. Yes. We are not making ready for a better church. Come on now. We are not making ready for a better building. No, we are making ready for the coming of the Lord. That's the objective of coming to the church. Hallelujah. They get our people prepared for his coming. Are you with me? For they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord, here we go, is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to us what not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance so right now we under the long suffering of god that the voice of god could go on with one more ride one more voice of mercy once more blood speaking from off the altar hallelujah the voice of god to go out to your loved ones to your family it's the mercies of god so don't talk about how dread it is how dark it is how sinful it is thank god for his mercy i miss the darkness i miss it being dread i miss cross darkness covering the people there's a light that's still shining there's a blood walk that we have to walk oh could we give the lord some praises people oh hallelujah 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 but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also the works that are therein shall be burnt up seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved Amen. 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 
what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat nevertheless we according to his promise look for a new heavens come on now let me hear the amen shout and that a new heaven and a new earth where it dwelleth righteousness wherefore beloved seeing you look for such things be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless and account that long suffering of our lord is salvation even as our beloved brother paul also according to the wisdom given unto him hath written unto you and also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things in which some things had to be understood which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction Amen. ye therefore beloved seeing you know these things before beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked fall away from your own steadfastness but grow in grace the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to him be glory and honor now forever and ever amen, amen. oh blessed that could we give the Lord some praises people amen. hallelujah oh glory to God so when Adam fell he didn't lose just his eternal life he lost his inheritance in that eternal life God was God over the universe Adam was a God of the earth isn't that right Amen. and we are promised a double portion Hallelujah. isn't that right yes. not only the baptism that does a down payment but a baptism to change our both mortal bodies Amen. isn't that right Amen. because God is not only redeeming your soul and your spirit he has to also redeem your body also Amen. Romans 8 said but not we not only they but we ourselves have the first fruit of the spirit we ourselves grown within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of the body Amen. hallelujah Amen. so there's a spiritual adoption and there's a physical adoption Amen. we have to come to the physical adoption Amen. but before the physical adoption there'll be a spiritual adoption Amen. where god can take his sons and said listen hear ye him Amen. my life is in him Amen. my voice is in him my virtues is in him my blood flows to him hear ye him oh glory to god you understand what god gonna do is our god gonna find some born sons some filled sons some tested sons some tried sons he sent them to the grinder he sent them to hell and they come out he sent them to half place and they come true hallelujah praise god all kind of child and testings but they're gonna come out victorious because god promised that kind of son in the last days not no church warm bench no 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 rugged sons god sees sons sons that won't give up sons that wouldn't let go sons that are steadfast overcoming sons victorious sons sealed sons redeemed sons adopted sons in the last days oh hallelujah are you looking for it are you on expectation for it not dying sons falling sons failing sons but sons that belong to Joel's army hallelujah hallelujah mighty men of God oh give the Lord some praises people hallelujah glory to God you may be seated so let's get down now let's get down into the harness hallelujah. Israel and the church but the Bible says watch if we can't have faith for divine healing how are we gonna have rapture in faith that alone should shake up this entire message world if we can't have a healing campaign if we can't have faith for divine healing wait home my rapture have no rapture coming where there's no divine healing it has to have divine healing you're going to find out what that is all about it's not by chance it's not like praying for the sick and we are pentecostals and no 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 it's not that it's a program of god because the rapture is actually a glorified healing mortal put on immortality corruption putting on incorruption so healing is an earnest of the rapture Amen. don't payment that if god could take a whole liver and make a new liver you don't hear what i'm saying if god could take a whole heart and give it if god could take cancer and dissolve it if god could take your female problem and dissolve it. my god if god could take your blind eye 
eyes and pop that open and give you a new pair of eyes, new kidneys. God could give you a new jaw bone. God could whatever he is. God, I am that I am. Whatever you have need of, that is what I am. That's what we are talking about. You may be seated. So I want to write off no, from, from now on. It, it have no dead church and going to no rapture. Amen. It have no we believe in message we're going to the rapture. You don't have that. Yeah. It have rapture and faith. Yeah. It's what going to take you into the rapture. Yeah. Not just faith. Yeah. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It have a term for the faith to take you there. Yeah. It have a currency to take you there. Yeah. It have a certain money to take you there. It's called rapture and faith. Yeah. That's what you come to church to get. Yeah. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. You're not hearing what I'm saying this morning. That is what you got to get. Yeah. Listen to this, Brother Branham. I truly believe before the church can have the rapture, this is before. It's got to have a rapture in faith. We can't eat my faith for divine healing, let alone rapture in faith. You got to have faith that will change and quicken this body and be taken away. And I believe there's a church on this road tonight, a power of the living God, that men will speak the word here and there. It will flash like lightning. A church that is coming out, not a psychologist, not on put on, make believe, but a real, true, genuine, anointed, Holy Ghost, call out church. How many believe that? Amen. How many believe that's what's coming? Amen. No psychology. Amen. And let me say this, no apology. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. No psychology and no apology. Well, this how we just do it here. This is how we see in it. It have no excuses. Amen. It must be this is that. Amen. That the prophet William Branham speak of. Go give the Lord a shout. Amen in the house that's what we're here to do to make a church that would make a revival i'm not hearing what you're saying let me hear you say amen let everybody in the house say amen let everybody connect to the internet say amen too to make a church that would make a revival not watch and stare you understand what i'm saying you will be seated when the devil come around he said not here not this Sunday. He said, not this time. They unto something. Let's go by some other church. When the demons go in, it's demons, you know, is that set of devils, they were moving in bunches. They're trying to move in and take over, but not inside of here. They can watch, but they can't touch. You're talking about the redeemed. You're talking about the predestinated. You're talking about the foreknown. You're talking about the elected. You're not talking about no ordinary folks. Oh, come on now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Let me see them. There's the problem. You in your flesh. You in your own thoughts and feelings. I think, but Thursday night, but Isaac was bringing it out. But the woman uh, at the well, and Jesus needed to get to her. She didn't know who she was. She didn't know her name in the book. She didn't know she is elected, predestinated, foreknown of God. She knows nothing about that. Amen. All she knows, she's striving to help see about her children. From this man, to that man, to that man, to that man. She is messed up. But her name is on the book. She is messed up. But she's elected. She is messed up. But she is... Get, get, you're not hearing what I'm preaching. You, you should be... Maybe some of you not messed up enough. Yeah. Maybe some of you don't have her never messed up. I don't care about being messed up. What I care about is my name is on the book. Because when the Lamb took the book, all I want to hear is what's in that book. If my name is on that book, I could shout this morning. I could scream this morning. I could sing a new song.
Before we had computer technology, when the company have a lot of goods, they have goods, they have to go and take out goods, they don't know how much remain and whatnot, they have to count, they have a day, they have to shut down the company, they count how much boxes there, how much this there, write it down and whatnot, so we know we have six boxes here, six boxes. In the event of technology and computer and whatnot, it's all in the system. So as they cash out, they know to have two more, three more, one more, white, 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 whatever the more. Good. Well, God had technology before them had technology. God book is his database. Of the elected seeds. As your name get called, you get checked out. Come on, you hear me? You not hear what I'm saying. Then God know, ah! Then God know what remain. spot no man can take your position you are checked out who he phoned you he called who he called he justified and who he justified he had already glorified what sin you can't bring up sin when the predestinated come from the lamb's book the blood section of the book you can't bring that up you are justified as if you never did it never did it never did it never did it you are justified as if you never did it Abraham, you'll be seated. God talked to Moses. He said, I believe that the age has come now. The miraculous, the phenomenal, the baptism of the Spirit. Notice he didn't say mysteries, more word, more knowledge, more information, more deeper mysteries, hidden mysteries, mystery mysteries. The mysterious hidden mysteries. The mysterious, mysterious hidden mysteries. And they go like that mysterious, 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 mysterious hidden, hidden, hidden. Flip it all over your own. Do I know all? Because some of them get so idle now, they just they're making their own mysteries now. They're making God like a puzzle. That, 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 that like the Catholic Church. Long time they take the whole whole thing in Latin. Everybody clueless. Secular, <laughs> secular. All you know come for the wafer, and that's it. Church done. They speak in tongues for the whole service. They're talking Latin. People don't know Latin. Only priests do know this me the and thing, drinking his own wine. And so on that gives you a little thing and then that's it. And you home, you good for the day. But that's what them preachers doing right now. They're talking Latin. A Latin mystery, a Latin language, unknown language. It's so mysterious. The people don't have to live nothing. They just say, boy, that is the man. That is my man, that is my pastor. As if God said, truly pastor, in rapture. But Ram said, this message and teaching, call this touch a perfect man. Yes, is the man that's going to be redeemed yes. at the end of the seventh seal. This is a message that ties the man yes. that's going to be redeemed. Yes. Those virtues must be in the man. Yes. The man can come and in here virtues. Anybody can say that. Yes. They have all said, let me test at this one. Yes. Come on. Let me see one. It's just one we want to see where you huh? We have seven virtues. Okay, let's test it. Yeah, you're frightened? You can have all these virtues and frighten and afraid. All I want to see is the test of forgiveness. That's all I want to see. You forgive me. <laughs> That's all I want to know. Because if you forgive me, you would love me. I show to you lovable. Oh, come on, give down some praises, people. Yeah. Feel like dancing. Feel like shouting. Feel like praising God. You can't tell me your virtues you can't forgive. You are not case. That makes no sense. Because that is what this age is about. Brotherly kindness. Because faith is based on forgiveness. What a mighty God we serve. He makes sure you can't get faith until you can forgive. So people can do whatever they want to do. Don't let it stick on you to hold an ought or a grudge. Give the Lord a shout in the house.
the test is not for them that's when you're making excuses he did me and she did me and some excuse that's you making excuses the test is on you to see if you would let it go to see if you'll forgive because when you break that song barrier of unforgiveness when you break that sorry and you can't forgive you know different realm altogether you know realm of communication with god then your communication restored back to god isn't that right now you could speak to the mountain then you could speak to the rock because you have a basis of faith to approach god a faith without fear a faith without condemnation a faith without holding anybody out oh hallelujah so i believe the phenomenal the baptism of the spirit power signs and wonders this great pouring of god's spirit in the last days that's the thing that will bring faith into the people that will take a rapturing faith that will take the church into glory i believe it Amen. what is going to bring it great outpouring of the spirit Amen. not great explanation of mighty gifted preachers or teachers Amen. That's right. That's right. when they hear somebody preaching a teacher will come and say you know preaching does convict the sinner but teaching does position he plays the man so the position he plays the people last 50 years if the teachers are right in that context then the people have been kneeled into position yes. for the last 50. that's why they can't move <laughs> that's why they can't praise that's why they can't get a breakthrough because they get nailed yes. by teachers nail them down yes, yes. they know everything but they can't worship god god is the object of worship yes. what god you're talking about yes. how you could be serving god and can't worship yes. we don't emphasize worship enough I'm not talking worship because I have nothing to preach. I'm talking worship because you need to do that. I'm not here to pray worship, worship, worship because I have nothing to preach. You need to do that. And I'm going to tell you when you need to do that. You need to do that when you're not feeling good. You need to do that when things are working out nice. You need to do that when you're feeling real messed up. You need to do that when you're feeling out of tune. And there are problems in your house. You may be seated. If somebody win the lotto and they're flying here raising God, they win the lotto. It's not because of God. They feel in charge by money. They, 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 they smile from ear to ear. But if you get in an accident or some the house burned down or something happened dread and you come in here smiling and worshiping and blessing God, you'll have people just shaking their heads. You know who will be shaking their head? The devil, number one, he'll be shaking his head. He will say, I just don't get it. I frustrate them. I make the man bounce the car. I did this, I did that, and they still come back. Let me just leave that redeemed man alone. Let me just leave that son and daughter. We need to give the devil some headaches. Flip it against him. When you expect it to down, look down, look up. When you expect it to cry, shout and give for joy. When you say you're barren, rejoice, he barren. The Bible said the barren to rejoice. You have no virtues to give nobody. You ain't looking for charge from everybody else. You're barren. You have nothing to share. Ain't there nobody shaking hands? You're saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Because you're so scrunting. A shake can't charge any up. A God bless giving you encouragement because you can you ain't, you ain't feel you're worried to encourage nobody. All that is foolishness. That's you feeling that way. That's your feeling. But when you shake that off, you are son. You, God taught of you as Brother Waldron preached. He taught us you as a son. God can't change his mind. You're not a monkey. You're not an animal. You're not a servant. You're a son. You may be backslidden, but you're still a son. You can still bring word on behalf of the Father. You could still know the Father will. It has sons who say they will do it and they're not doing it. It has sons who say they will not do it and they're doing it. You could still know the Father's will. You could be a disobedient son. It's not that you don't know what the Father wants. It's just you not obeying what the Father wants. But you are still a son. You could still approach your Father. You could say, I will arise. I will go to my Father. You could still do that. 
Nobody can stop you from doing that. Nobody can tell you you can't approach your father. That is your father. Hallelujah. Satan can't approach his father. God is not his father. He was created in the beginning. But you came before the beginning. You are the part of the attribute taught gene. Show of God. Is there shouts in the house? Is there sons that see in their name? Because you can't see your name and see your name again, you know. You have a memory problem, you know. I see my name last week. And you know, what my name is again? There's a, there's a real problem. You see your name then. How you going to forget your name? When you see your name? How you going to forget who you are? Satan want to dress you up like one of them. That's his job. Why? Because you're born in sin, shape and equity, and Satan's a gambler. He don't know who you are. So he betting you are one of his own. So he betting mother demons, she is one of mine. And he's shaking, shaking, shaking. He's one of them. He's I ain't sure, Because she in church this morning. So I ain't too sure. She in church wearing long dress, but outside there she dressed not so long. And so on. So I ain't sure. Because every other day other than Sunday, she dressed not as long as normal. The Muslim wearing long dress, all kind of people wearing long dress. Not ashamed, hiding the face, wearing the slit in the eyes, seeing. They have no problems with that. But my daughters have problems. Because they have a problem with who they are and the consciousness of who they are. If they only know who they are, they'll be privileged and proud and pleased and blessed to dress right, act right, talk right, live right, do right. So you understand the point of the spirit. A lot of men, they stuck on revelation because they could bring it out. Because the head full. They have a fro. The head high. They're loaded with information. And they see the people now to drop it on them. And when the people drop on them, they drop on them. They can't move. Three hours paralyzed. By word from master teachers. Man that could craft and make them see what even not there. Them fellas, like magicians, you know. Yes, nickel tricks here, nickel tricks here, nickel, I call it verbal gymnastics. But Jesus said the promise of the Father, the promise of the Father, tarry in Jerusalem until you receive the promise of the Holy Ghost. He was pointing them to something. He wasn't just informing them, informing them. You open the understanding to the scriptures. But if the understanding is open, is that either somebody close it back up or it's still open? Is either the understanding open? Is that you open the word or you open the word? How much time you open the word? Open the word. Come back. Let me open the word again. Come back. Open the word again. I come like years ago. Preacher preaching. Laying a foundation. Laying a foundation. After three months, he laying a foundation again. I say, when is the building going to go up? Every three months, he laying a foundation. Laying a foundation. Laying a foundation. I'm looking down the ground and see the foundation. When is the building going to go up? I'm seeing foundation, foundation. There's only excuses. Tell the people we are now in the ministry of the word. Isn't that right? The time of these things being made known. Amen. That is not laying a foundation. It's bringing the word to the people. Amen. Now that we are here where we are in 2016. You can't tell me we're laying a foundation now. But Abraham said I'm only building a foundation for a short quick message. That was not a long message. Short quick message that would shake the whole nation. Do you know how long Peter message was on their Pentecost? Brown said 15 minutes. Message over. Oh, give the Lord a shout. Peter message was 15 minutes. And 3,000 said, what shall we do to be saved? He said, repent. Just like I repented, you have to repent. And receive the Holy Ghost and fire. Repent. Glory to God because the promise is unto you. And to your children, and to them that are far off, even as many as the Lord of God shall call, repent. It's coming, repent. It's a promise, repent. You got to get it, you got to have it. It's yours, it's your possession. Oh, there's Holy Ghost and fire. Oh, it's what's keeping me alive. It's the Holy Ghost and power. They're gonna burn the demons out. Oh, glory to God, amen. Hallelujah. He said, we are way up the road now. Prophecy. Soon the coming of the Lord Jesus. And we have got to have a rapture in faith in the church. That can be changed in a moment and twinkle of an eye. Or we will not go. No rapture in faith, no rapture. It is no ifs, it is no buts. You can sleep on the books and listen to the tapes till you know them by heart. That is not rapture in faith. Watch. He said, but don't worry. It will be there. 
it will be there and when the power of this church rises not mysteries not revelation when the power somebody saw the power somebody saw the power when the power of this church rises it will bring the brethren a lot of brethren and coming until the power comes in did you hear that a lot of brethren are coming until the power comes in but when the power comes in they're going to fly in the church oh glory to god all those hypocrites all those liars all those harlot shepherds they're going to be busted when that david that holy spirit ministry rise on the scene oh glory to god let my people go pharaoh they are coming out they are coming out they're gonna come out the seven thunders gonna bring them out oh give the lord a shout it's the voice of god it's the voice of god in the last days oh give the lord some praises right now the argument is on doctrine and teachings because that is what man can argue about but you can't dispute a manifestation everybody know the man was lame in front of the gate everybody know that it's yes he's begging it's yes he's getting coins it's yes people looking down at him it's yes he's that condition but when peter walk up to that man mighty apostle poor Papa peter mighty apostle without a credit card mighty apostle without dollars in his pocket but he says silver and gold have i none such as i have i give it unto you rise up and walk rise up and walk rise up and walk don't sit where you are rise up and walk That's a sign of the resurrection. A sign of rapturing feet. A sign. A man crippled for so long and Peter could say, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. And the man does begin to leap and jump. Leap and jump. Not walk like he wanted to go and sit down there get to get more coins. No, he had to get a work because he could walk now. He can't no excuse now. He can't go and beg now. Because he could walk now. Jesus made you whole. Now watch something now. When people see that, they start to want to glorify Peter, you know. Yes. Remember what we said this morning? Yes. Soon as a man gets something, a little thing, yes. you want to be a little God? Yes. Peter started to explain them, you think by my holiness this man make all? Yes. I am Peter, yes. the one who denies Jesus. Yes. It is the same one who curses. Yes. That's me. Yes. But you see this man here, it's by faith. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. It's this man whole here. Yes. It's me, same Peter. Yes. But it's Jesus. Yes. You don't know what I'm saying. Yes. It's the Holy Ghost. It's the spirit that that man is made whole. Don't bother with me, Peter. I am full of faults and mistakes, but this Jesus. You hear what I'm saying? Oh. No, that was a that was a shaker for the Pharisees, you know, because the churches were intact. Unt until that when Jesus died it was to us they say Whew. Whew. maybe season when Jesus died they were they felt a sigh of relief boy Judas was part of the plan to give him so much silver to betray Christ and everything everything settled down now afterwards they say Jesus was somebody dead but they see no evidence because Jesus have private ministry going on they don't know what's going on they're just among the disciples and elected they don't know nothing else but when you see Jesus begin to come from the inside to come on the outside to give a demonstration of the hidden power that the pillar of fire brought in the upper room when that jesus that they can't see they can't touch when that fire that's on the inside begin to express itself on the outside in signs in wonders in miracles in the power of god when that begins to happen then the devil have to take note pharisees have to take note sadducees have to take note the message world have to take note the hypocrites have to take note the backsiders have to take note that they have been with jesus right now 
it, 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 when the Holy Ghost fell in the upper room, was a lot of noise. Yeah. It wasn't just. What is that? People hear any word of God and doing so? And, and the four beasts raise their hands and the 24 elders give us a signal. Are they stopping traffic? They say amen, they say hallelujah, they rejoice and so on. Amen. That noise. When the devil heard about that noise, he said, that is noise. Yeah. Right now, the devil not even hear any noise. Sure. They're just quiet. Yeah. Everybody's settling the, in the message. Yes, yes. I don't know what message they're in. They're in the message. I thought the message was the open book. Amen. Once you start to see that book, you have to... You are one in a million. Amen. You know, it comes like, you complaining about your roof, have a leak. And you're upset because of a hole in the galvanized. There's some people with no galvanized. They don't even have a roof. So you better start to shout, it's only a hole you have. Some people complain about their gear as a pay, but some people don't even have a pay. So thank God for your pay. You see, you ought to change the pictures and let that devil get messed up. He can't catch you out the sink. Catch you out of timing with your words. I can do all things through Christ. I'm fine, I'm well. Let the weak say I am strong. Rejoice, he barren. Let the desert blossom. Come on now, hallelujah. You're tired and weary. You stand up and give God praise. You can say, Don't tired, I'm tired. I'm tired. I come to church and I'm tired. And the more you say tired, the devil say, Yes, you are tired. We know that. And two more demons come and say, We know that. All of us support you in your tiredness. But when you shake that off and say, so help me God. You're tired as you're tired. Glory to God, you can still worship God. Yes, you can still break out. Yes, you can rejoice. You can shout, you can stand up. Hallelujah, stand up, but nobody else standing up. Glory to God, you're not standing up because somebody else standing up. You stand up because you want to stand up. You want to give God praise. You want to glorify his name. You want to join the heavenly chorus. You want to join the four beasts. You want to join the 24 elders. You want to join the rejoicing time for the lamb taking the book. That's a jubilee. A jubilee is a release. A jubilee means freedom. A jubilee means going back to your possession. First seal, there is coming forth seven mysterious thunders. They're not even written at all. That's right. And I believe that true, those seven thunders will be revealed in the last days in order to get the bride together for rapture and faith. So there's a gathering by those seven thunders to get the bride together for rapture and faith. Because what we got right now, we wouldn't be able to do it. We have got to step further. Say step further. Hallelujah. You gotta stretch. Say stretch. So you gotta go past your comfort zone. And all of you have a comfort zone. Where you feel safe. Where you feel you can't break out and go beyond. But we are being challenged this morning to go where no other group, where no other man, where no other church, where no other people, where no other individuals gone before. You not hear what I'm saying? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Your wife did not expect in this. Your husband not expecting this. Your children not expecting this. But it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Rapture in faith is coming. The power of God is coming. The Holy Ghost is coming. Signs, wonders, miracles is coming. Because what we have, we won't be able to do it. There's something got to step further. We can't have enough faith for divine healing hardly we have got to you know, get enough faith to be changed in a moment and be swept off the earth and we will find after a while where it is written so what is he saying there must come a time where divine healing become preeminent in the church listen to this from once more lord we got members but they're weak they love the things of the world better than they do the things of god Look upon the churches and find out. Don't try to deny it. I'm reading. Don't think I say anything. 
I'm anointed to find the course to preach for me. Amen. Many people say I'm not a preacher. That is true. So I let the quotes preach for me. Don't try to deny it. Your actions speak louder than your words. You have big muscles, but you won't be the channel of the hour. The rapture and faith to take the church out before judgment strike the earth. Amen. Numbers doesn't mean nothing. A man have a thousand, two thousand people in the church. That's the, the, what, what that is. That rapture and faith. That's two thousand. Let me compete with Pope Francis. Pope have millions. So it's not numbers. It comes down to the faith. Isn't that right? Brethren, the end time message shall reveal it. Six fold purpose of Abraham versus Daniel. There you are. It shakes me to think the mystery, the things that the church world bats their eyes and says nonsense. The mystery of who Jesus is. Not the third person, not the second person, not the third person, but the person of God. After all the other mysteries of God were revealed, because it's wrote in the book, revealed to the end time generation, they can no more see it in seminaries and schools and denominations. No wonder they think you're crazy. No wonder they think you're foolish. No wonder they can't understand why you don't clock up with them. Because, here we go, yeah, because there's a power and a vision behind it. A word of God that's been, here we go, revealed to get the church in order for the rapture and the going home. So all this revelation was supposed to get the church in order for the rapture, for the coming of the Lord. Isn't that right? So this new heaven and new earth the Bible talk about. John say, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Peter talk about the fire reserved. Isn't that right? To clean up the heavens and the earth. What does it do? This, um, this is from a uh, future home of the heavenly bridegroom. These thistles and sickness and death and politics and sinful men. Watch. And sinful women and evil spirits will be gone away and annihilated. It has to be done away. Because we are going to live here. We prove it by the Bible. What, when the Lamb took the book, what did John said? We shall reign on the earth. So we are not angels. So all of you who have angels wing and you're dusting it when you go home. You have to undust it because you don't have that. You fooling yourself thinking you're some angels. We're going to reign, not in heaven, on the earth. So heaven is just part of where we're going to come back. So if we sleep, we go so, and then we come back so. And we who here, we have to have a different arrangement altogether. So God have arrangement for those who gone on before and those who here. We who are alive and remain. That's who the Bible designate us. We who are alive and remain shall be caught up. There are those who have died and gone on. But we talking about we who are alive and remain shall be caught up. Amen. Oh, glory to God. So watch. Praise God. Watch. All our bodies that we live in now was put on the earth when God created it. Amen. So when God said, let there be an earth, he was saying, let there be your bodies. Amen. I'm not hearing you. Give me a shout on that one. Amen. When God made the earth, he made your bodies. Amen. That's why he said, that's poor man out of the dust of the earth. Oh, give the Lord a shout. Do you see? Ah! Man, no feel like preaching right now. No feel like preaching. So when God spoke the earth in existence, he was speaking your body. You are a physical manifestation of the attribute that you are in God right now. why you have to get a new body because we don't have a new earth you don't hear what I'm saying there's got to be a new earth for this new body I'm not hearing you there's a mystery being unfolded this is hidden mystery this is old earth this is Putin and Obama and who we have right now, Rowley and whoever it is. All these governments now, that is their business, they're their world. All the tricks with the money and the different exchanges and money exchanges and all kind of thing like that. That is their world now. All the demons in the atmosphere, they need atmosphere. They send up all kind of satellite and all kind of spy plane and all kind of thing up in the air, all of that, all that burning down, all that, all that coming down. That God universe they're playing up with up there. Then God had a thing floating up there. When you're looking up in heaven, uh, new heaven, new earth, and you're seeing some kind of satellite, what are they doing there? You have no need for cell phone. Jesus bypasses theophany. No, we bypass our theophany. Jesus did not bypass his theophany. He came from thought to word to flesh. So he knowed all things. 
So what thing happened to us? When we get back to our theophany, we're going to know all things. There's a word for that, at that day you shall know. I'm in the fire, you and me and I and you. We only come down on this earth to be tested. Ah, we only come down on this earth to be tried. That's why you bypass the word body. And you're complaining about your trials, about your frustration, but that's what you're sent here for. When you were sent, frustration was waiting for you. My God. Depression was sitting down looking for you. I am depression. Let me introduce myself. Sickness was waiting for you. Old age, gray hair. Everything was lined up. They say, well, you're just waiting in here. You know, you're young now. Two years old. You can't get gray. Two years old. You don't have that. But put, put 40 years on that now. And they see the gray hair coming. Gray hair say, look, look, hold that. You had no gray hair. All of a sudden, gray hair come and just drops on yourself. Yeah. Then you recognize you're getting old. You could die it, but you're still getting old. It doesn't hide it, but you're still, you're still there. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I am saying, we are here. Are you ready? To overcome. I want you to see that. I want you to see that. Say it after me. I am here. I am here. To overcome. Oh, give the Lord a shout. You may be seated. You can't change women. You can't change money. You can't change popularity. You can't change the temptation. You can't change nothing out there. But you could change you. And how you face women, money, and popularity. You could face you. Take change you. How you view whatever is confronting you. And you have to understand. You are raised up to destroy the works of the enemy. Yes, 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 yes. You will wake up. And don't expect no encouragement from the devil because he don't know who Jesus was. He never knew who Jesus was. That's why I say, if thou be the son of God, turn these stones. And if he didn't know who Christ was, how on earth could he know who we are? You are fighting for your place in the sun. Yes, you are fighting for your position in Christ. Hallelujah, praise God. The devil will not believe in nothing because you smoke, you drink, you lie, you live all kind of life and so on. He knows it, he saw it. He had his agents, he had his recorder, he had his videotape, everything else. The only thing he don't have is blood. That's where Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. So when Satan said, Look, you did this, God gives him blood. Did that, blood. Did that, blood. Complaining, he accused the brethren, blood. Did that, blood. No, it was the blood. I died for them. That's why I paid the cross. That's why I went to Calvary. Satan complaining, complaining. Keep on complaining. But I know it was the blood. Oh, give the Lord a shout in the house. redeemed us by thy blood glory 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 hallelujah glory to God hallelujah you said Satan is the ruler of the earth and its atmosphere you said atmosphere both heaven and earth you may be seated is now contaminated with devils that can accuse us before God Jesus is dear to intercede for us while the accuser keep pointing a finger they did this they did this they did this but the blood still covers he came to redeem that elected that he foresaw that is why he said it's so filthy today now watch here's the human heart and he draw a heart inside of it there's a snake watch that is what makes the sin the life this one over here has a dove in it, so two hearts, which is the Holy Spirit that has a life. He has malice, the one with snake have malice, hatred, envy, that's what's causing it, is that fellow inside of there. That snake in the heart is inside of there. Now when you are asked to forgive you of your sins, that has been forgiven and taken away, but the thing that caused it is still there. So God forgive you for lying, stealing, robbing, whatever, God forgive you, but the snake 
is still there. That's justification. God forgive you, but the thing that causes you to do it is still there. Then comes sanctification. Watch. Sets our mind in order of holiness to think right. Sanctification is a compound Greek word which means to cleanse and set aside for service. The next comes the baptism of fire and the Holy Ghost that God might dwell in us. And the fire of God, here we go, cleanses our hearts from sin and puts the Holy Ghost inside. Then we bring forth the same life that they did back there. Notice, he didn't say teachings. He didn't say mysteries. He didn't say the letter of the word. He said the fire of God cleanses our hearts from sin. Isn't that right? A man can repent of his sins, and maybe he's a immoral man, every immoral looking woman he finds, it's still there. Maybe he's a drunkard, every time he smells a drink, it is still there. When he gets sanctified, it cleanses that desire out of him. It takes the want of it away. He can still be tempted, but it takes the want of it away. But when he is baptized <coughs> with the Holy Ghost and fire, and hear the word cleansed burnt out, cleaned up, and then put into service of God. Because sanctification means set aside for service. But the Holy Ghost puts us in, in service. <coughs> Excuse me. So look, how striking he takes the place where he had to dwell in through the same process. He is called the church through justification, called the church through sanctification, then fill it with the Holy Ghost and fire. He took it through a process that he himself, the Holy Spirit himself, the Son of God, can dwell in it. Amen. Now, watch. A mystery. What people did not know. Noah's day with water. God judging it by water and so on. Flood and so on. It wasn't just that. He was redeeming the earth Amen. by baptizing it in water. So the mystery behind Noah, 128 year old prophecy and the ark and the flood was God saying, I am taking back what is mine. I am going to redeem my purchase possession. Isn't that right? He was going to die to redeem everything. Everything that was lost. So he baptized the earth in water. When Jesus died, his blood sanctified the earth. There's only one thing left. Fire. 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 And the same way, he redeems the earth. He redeems the individual. You are justified. That's why you get baptized in water. You are sanctified by the blood. And then God has to baptize him with fire. Somebody shout fire. Oh glory. Oh glory. Oh hallelujah. You may be seated. But the clients, if it is how the preaching today, with all these teachings and word, then it means that God you don't need, you just need water, you just need blood, and you just need word. That's how God redeemed the earth. But I know what John saw. John saw a new heaven and a new earth. John said there was no more sea. But Abraham said the fire will be so powerful, it's going to break up the H2 from the O. There'll be no more water. God going to renovate the earth. That's God going to renovate your life. Because God going to give you a new body. It will be a glorified body. This body is not the body you're gonna see me in. My God is a dying man. There's a dying body. But we're gonna have a glorified body. We shall not hinder those that are asleep. They coming back for their body, and our body will be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet of the Lord has sung, dead in Christ shall rise incorruptible. We shall be changed. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. 
Uh, even the cinnamon have to rise. The ungodly man have to rise. Everybody have to rise. Because there's a judgment time coming. Oh, death is not the judgment. There's one beyond that. It has come, they call the second death. But death hath no power over the blood washed ones. Oh, I feel like dancing. Death hath no power over the blood washed one. My God, I feel re Pentecostal right now. Death hath no power over the blood washed ones. Thou hast redeemed us by thy blood and has made us unto God kings and priests. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. You may be seated. Let Brother Bannon describe this fire coming to the earth. What it is to burn. He said the baptism of fire, holy fire from God, will cleanse the earth and the heavens around it. It is purchased so the redeemed can live on it. Live in peace. Notice the baptism of fire is a cleansing from sin from sickness, from disease germs, from sinners, from the devil and all his group. He's to be cast in a lake of fire. Holy fire from God, coming from God. Watch. Cause notice to make it ready for God to dwell in. God in the new world has to come to dwell on the earth. God, God, he dwells in the human heart. But he and the bride becomes one and they go to their new home in their new world. Here we go. The same plan of redemption is used to redeem both the world and the persons that live in it. Amen. So the world has to be redeemed by water in Noah's day, by blood in Jesus' day, by fire that is yet to come. And you have to redeem by the water, by the blood, and by the baptism of fire. Amen. Could we say amen? amen? Oh, hallelujah. I know this is not preach much because this is old school. And people want new school. And then the holy fire and holy ghost from God comes down. No, you can it back now to your human heart. And burns out the desire of sin, the nature of sin. How can he be a sinner and a redeemed man at the same time? How can I be in a pawn shop and out of the pawn shop at the same time? He redeemed us by his blood, by his spirit. He cleansed us, then comes down to dwell in us, the church, not in the church. Now watch. See Satan. Satan still has a claim because it's earmarked, but Jesus buys it by his shed blood. So watch, it's purchased, but not yet taken. I'm not hearing you. You have been purchased, but not yet taken. So what he's coming back for, he's coming back for his purchase. Possession yeah. and he gives the Holy Ghost as a down payment yeah. of your inheritance. Yeah. Ooh, glory. My God, I feel the fire in the house, in the building. Yeah. Do you understand what the coming of the Lord is about? Yeah. He is coming back for his purchase. Yeah. The baptism. Watch, the baptism of fire cleanses it from all germs, all diseases, all sicknesses. Watch, he redeems it the same way he does his people. He makes it all the same. His plan of redemption. He's the unchangeable God. Always the same in his plans. Now in the beginning was the word. And the word was made flesh and dwell among us. Three stages. It was attribute first, was in God. And he thought of himself as a human being. And that transmitted him down to be Jesus. Amen. Now, you will ever be there. If you will ever be there, you was with him then. Amen. For there is only one form of eternal life, and that's God. And you had to be part of God at the beginning. Amen. Not what you choose down here. He chose you. Amen. That is enough to make everybody in the church shout this morning. It's not even your choice. And I can shout. And I can rejoice. And I cannot be happy. You gotta be crazy. I am gonna shout. 
going to rejoice. I'm going to be happy because he chose me. So this should end. Why me, Lord? Why me? What you see in me? I ain't no good. Forget that. He chose you. Just start to thank him and rejoice. I fail here and I fail there and I fail there. But I'm saying when you go to the other side, you're, you're surprised in who will be on the other side. Mount a weak failing, what kind of people will be on the other side? Surprised in who will be up there. Yeah. All them who praying strong and praying. Forget that. Laws on your name in the book, rejoice. Yeah. Shout, God gonna bring you through. Yeah. You're gonna overcome. Yeah. You're gonna get the devil the final slap. Yeah. All no be slapping you, but you're gonna get the final slap. Yeah. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Yes, 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 yes. You're going to get the devil that final kick. Now look at the priest here. This is important. The priest. The one with the nice clothes? Fancy beard? Nice thing on top of his head? Looking very spiritual and so on? Smooth face, looking very peaceful and so on? calm and soothing words that is the priest the embroidery going right down to his hem I mean they have a designer for those garments in those days it wasn't normal garments you know that's the priest coming there's no ifs there's no buts by his real wear and walk his special sandals with the gold trimmings on his shoes tip that's the priest he's coming highly respected let's hear about him we find his bottom part here, his back life behind him, his predestination is sinful. Now look at this blackboard here. He represents purity. He was a priest, he was an honorable man. He said he had to be a good man or he couldn't be a priest. You, you don't put bad men as priests. You, 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 don't, you don't put the mafia as priests gangster as priest he had to be at least a good man to be in the priesthood but but you see he got it by intellectual learning that's the priest so he has no divine revelation he went and studied in the priesthood he knew how to be a priest how to sprinkle the thing light the candle do the altar how to bless people and so on and that's the ritual he's a priest look at the woman woman at the well her first life she was a prostitute she was all mad up but way down in her watch watch i know when the messiah coming notice when jesus came and manifested the word because the word is under thoughts watch watch what happened the priest with his intellectual learning said it's a devil so the priest called jesus a devil because that's what his denomination called it today is what the group say individuals in the group have no revelation they have a group revelation so whenever they passed a pedal in the head and mess up the head the whole church messed up like that so they have no individual life they have a collective life as dictated and promulgated by the pastor who is not a good shepherd who's a hireling because the good shepherd does feed the sheep the word of god and don't put the pastor spirit on the people the good shepherd just put the holy ghost on the people the word that's what the good shepherd does a hireling shepherd has to mess them up to attach the people to themselves would we get a shout in the house? Are we preaching to the elected today? All right. You may be seated. What happened? This priest, but only electoral learning said it's a devil because that's what the denomination called it. What did he do? He had no representation, so it blacked him out. This little woman had nothing to present. I like this. She was filthy and dirty as she could be. But she got representation. I could hear bear him and that. I find you holding back on that one. I hope you're not a priest here. This little woman had none to present. She was filthy, dirty as she could be. 
But notice, way down in her, she got representation. She was looking for this to be made flesh. He said, go get your husband and come here. She said, I have none. She said, he said the truth because you had five and the one you live with is not yours. You had five that makes six you had. She said, sir, you're not Beelzebub. I perceive you're a prophet. Amen. No more doubt. You didn't have to explain it. She saw it. She believed it. Away she went. Why? What did it do to her? It redeemed her. So she went from black to white. The priest went from white to black. He was out because he had no representation. But this woman who was a prostitute, because she had representation, she had predestination. The hell, that's what the redemption is about. The redemption is about the predestinated. It's not everybody. He said, all that the Father had given me past tense will come. Oh, give the Lord a shout. All that the Father had given me will come. Nobody could stop you. No child could stop you. No sin could stop you. No sickness could stop you. Nothing could stop you. You could be boxing in 30 years. That can't even stop you. Look at that man going to the pool 38 years. 38 years? Not 38 months. Not 38 weeks. A yearly pilgrimage. To, to every time I come, somebody coming in front of me. No, no, if that is normal people, after the first two years of that, that's it, you know. I ain't going back there, you know, because you know what I'm happening? Is everybody better than me to go inside there? For 38 years, same testimony. Every time I come. I have no man to help me in. You think Jesus, God Almighty, wasn't seeing that man going 38 years? Amen. That's the test of, of, of perseverance, Amen. of tenacity, Amen. of fortitude, Amen. of guts. Amen. Hallelujah. Perseverance towards the goal. You know, I better come every year than to say, Doctor, only charging me and charging me and can't do nothing. Take a pill, take a pill, take a pill, take a pill, come back next, next, next six months. So instead of taking Dr. Pills every year, he's going. And Jesus walked up to the man and said, well done, we made whole. The man didn't advertise on YouTube or Facebook or the papers or on the radio or the television or the, I am sick, please send somebody to me. This is grace. This is God. This is election. Come walking down to him. Will you be made whole this morning? today oh hallelujah <laughs> didn't ask for it didn't he claim it this is this is redemption at work this is to redeem this man from his sickness from his condition from his ill health to bring him back to health from his blindness from his sickness from defeat from being in prison this is bringing you out didn't ask for it but it come and walk into you will you be made whole it's a question it's something that we ask and only you can answer it oh hallelujah you may be seated the first response was i have no man to put me in that was not the question the question was unusual because no man ever asked him that before he was pressing like every other man but jesus that morning say will you remain whole oh hallelujah lord make me whole and i think that ought to be your prayer this morning that ought to be your desire this morning to go and make you whole whole in spirit whole in heart whole in mind whole in body oh glory to god real spiritual health and wholeness oh hallelujah what so this woman she believed away she went is it redeemed her he came to be her redeemer what redeem means redeem means to bring back why didn't he get the priest he was never up there So the priest couldn't get the call. My. Watch. He came to redeem that which was fallen. In the fall that just got messed up. Like that girl. But God had her in his thinking. Before. Let's, let's call her Miss Messed Up. Or Sister Messed Up. Or Brother Messed Up. It's quiet in here. That's okay if you're messed up. 
if your name is in that book, God will take the mess up. And when Satan tried to identify how messed up, God will take it up so high. He showed before there was a moon, before there was a star, before there was a molecule, way back in the back part of his mind, you were not messed up. Come on now, come on now. Glory to God, only at this earthly level you could get messed up. But in his thinking, you were original attribute. Attribute sons of his spirit. Glory to God, bypass your word body. Bypass your theophany. Come in flesh to be tested, to be tempted. We win some, we lose some. Because we were born in sin and shape in iniquity. But the sons of God is coming back. We are coming back. We are coming back to our inheritance and to our position in God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. How many believe they are coming back? They have to be somewhere before to come back to. Oh, give the Lord a shout. You may be seated. To redeem means to go back. You have to be somewhere first. You have to lose something first. You have to have inheritance first. You're not going back to nothing. You're not lost in the wilderness and you're looking for something. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I'm going. No, it's not that. You had something before. Before the function of the world. You had an inheritance. Jesus died to bring that inheritance real to you. Make it real to you. We are not just sons, just sons, just hanging out there. We are sons to bring total and complete redemption. The whole creation right now. They're groaning. They're waiting. What are they waiting for? They're waiting for sons of God. Who's coming back. Sons of God who know who they are. Who know where they come from and where they're going. 50 years. We can't continue like that. 50 years teaching, teaching, ministry of the word. We can't continue like that. I'm declaring a new season is here. A new time is here. We are moving into the ministry of the spirit. Where the sons of God will pick up the authority. Oh glory to God. The power is coming and we're moving into the authority of God. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah. My. You will be seated. Praise God. Where was the priest? It sent him back to his destination. Because of his intellectual learning. Watch. You become a new person. I saw a new heaven. And a new earth. You become a new person. Not just an old patched up one. By joining church or trying to turn a new page. But you are a complete brand new unit. God. Here we go. Takes the old man and burns him completely out. He don't take the Trinidadian and fix him up and fix him and patch him up. No. Like long time. Met a brother. He said justification is picking up a wood with moss on it. Soon as he start, I know you're going off. I know where you're going with that, but soon it's because they like to say things Baram didn't say. It's a pride, you know, because we're not in America. I you know we in Trinidad. They had to get a local type. So you can't talk about wheat because we don't go wheat, they talk about corn. But no problems. As long as the type run true. But when that guy starts with this wood with moss in it, I know that is trouble. So you say justification, they pick up a wood with moss in it. Sanctification, clear the moss. And Holy Ghost, you shape the wood. I say, okay. I said, now tell me what Brother Branham said. Justification, take up a dirty glass. Okay. Sanctification, they wash the glass. And Holy Ghost, you pour milk into the glass. I said, well, your wood had no milk in it, you know. I said, the same old wood getting shaped. That this is the problem. And the same old man getting some chinks on it. Same old man. But that's not what we're preaching here. This fire has fire bomb this old man. Change and transform that man. It's a new man inside of you. It's a new heaven, it's a new earth. Yeah. It's an old wood getting chip and chip and shape up and looking like the same old wood. Yeah. Dead wood. Yeah. Hallelujah. But it's fire, it's Holy Ghost fire. Yeah. They have seraphs with coals. They are the burners, they are the cleansers yeah. that brings the worshiper. Oh, that cleans the worshiper approaching the altar. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Are you with me now? Yeah. As you come forward, as you come and you want to worship and you want to be cleansed, the burners. The seraphs pick up the course of the altar. They come to touch your tongue, touch your lips, touch your life. To present you and make you ready to come into the presence of the king. They are the seraphims that guard the throne. They fly day and night. Two wings cover their feet. Two wings cover their face. Two wings they fly. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of thy glory. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Day and night. They cry aloud. They cry so much the post is moved. By the glory that they fill the temple with. The glory of God. 
and these seraphs they are the burners when they see sin they just wait for you to repent they just wait for you to invite them and they dive down to come and help cleanse you all this is part of worship hallelujah and they take the vial and pour it on the altar the prayers of the saints oh come on now oh glory to god that's where your prayer meeting is at you're full of the vials as your prayer oh could somebody say amen, amen. could somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah how many want the burners to burn inside of here amen. glory to god them seraphs oh glory they're flying on this this morning they're here amen. hallelujah hallelujah amen. satan is to be taken from the earth okay let me just back up a little bit here god takes the old man burns him out completely out with the holy ghost and fire and comes himself and send down your representation so your representation comes down in a manifestation of the baptism of the holy ghost Amen. satan taken from the earth watch he cannot but attempt he cannot get a born again christian for god the foundation of the world foresaw him and jesus god sent jesus to redeem him and the blood speaks for him how can he sin he can't even be seen the only thing he hears is your voice he sees your representation so when that blood come and covers you with that fire baptism goes take a hold upon your life god will even see you god only hearing your voice he's seen your representation you are beholding he's beholding you before the father and jesus will say father glorify me with the glory I had with thee before the world was they were with me oh glory they don't have a clue what he's talking about but he know what he's talking about because he came from that path that god path oh hallelujah that eternal path and at the same path we come from but because we bypass that word image because we bypass that theophany we can't remember it but god is bringing back to our remembrance what our inheritance is all about isn't that right hallelujah so watch praise be to jesus hallelujah amen amen he said he talked about the heaven the h2 gonna explode he said you know when a man received the baptism of fire there's a lot of noise around here amen. the thing is a shame to hear people scream and shout like that wait till the earth get a baptism amen. so when a man so is he saying you know yeah. wait till the earth get a baptism all the volcanics and the explosions and everything else and when a man get a baptism you talk about the scream and the shout that way they were staggering like drunk men in the upper room they were screaming they were shouting they were staggering mary was them with them Mary wasn't saying no, I am sister Mary and I am Mary and Mary Mary have fire to get yeah. hallelujah sister Mary the quiet Mary you know? when that fire come and put your bones on fire heart on fire your mind on fire yeah. praise God sister Mary cooking the best bread for brother husband oh glory to God sister Mary feeling the preacher after that mr. Mary life transform the bread is anointed the bake is anointed cake is anointed everything she puts her hands to is anointed because fire is upon sister mary oh glory to god give the lord let the marriage give the lord some praises people hallelujah 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 glory to god oh glory to god hallelujah now watch i try to speak to the best of my knowledge all that i know how to glorify jesus christ who has redeemed us all redeemed from everything that's the fall consists of he came as a kinsman to redeem the human race back to God and we have the earnest of our salvation this that we have now this glorious Holy Spirit is only the earnest of our being above sin in the rapture Amen. Amen. the earnest is the down payment it means more is yet to come Amen. it come like if you have two hundred thousand dollars to get and you get twenty thousand dollars down hold that you have a hundred and eighty thousand dollars coming now if they get a little thing and run with it and do like if that is it you see that's a different thing altogether but this is saying more is yet to come okay here have a bomb here Let's drop on you here now are you ready if there is no divine healing there is no resurrection of the body Divine healing is the earnest of our redeemed body. Did you hear that? Divine healing is evidence of our bodies physically. 
is going to be redeemed. You heard a testimony about the woman born without eyes. And she came up to the platform to Brother Brown. Then he spoke the word for her. And then a light came and began to circle around the sockets. Out in the middle of that, he stopped and said, wait a minute, I forget to ask you what color eyes you want. She said, I hear blue is a nice color. And it's finished. Do you understand what that is about? The God that makes eyes, nose. Do you understand your body already made dust of the earth? Dust thou art, dust thou shall return. But God gonna glorify that body because he's gonna glorify the earth as it was. New heaven, new earth. It takes a new body to come on the new earth. You understand how Paul said, if this tabernacle be dissolved, we have one awaiting. Do you understand what Paul is saying about putting off this tabernacle, this house? Have a new house. Take off this best house. Have another house waiting. Have another building waiting. It's a no big thing. Get that. No power over the blood wash one. No wonder Paul can say, death, where is your sting? Grave, where is your victory? You have no victory over me because I know where I'm going. No devil can hold this body down. Oh, hallelujah. No grave is going to hold this body down. You are belonging to the redeemed. You belong to redeemed. Listen to this. Divine healing is the earnest of our redeemed body. Did you ever think of that? If there is no divine healing, when you go to the grave, that's all of it. You'll be there forever. But I think that the power of God that will take a cancer-ridden woman that the doctors have just given a few days. She's one of thousands on records. Not just the man, the person's testimony, but the doctor's testimony. One of thousands. And her eaten up with few hours to live by cancer and by the earnest of her redeemed body will put her in the condition it is now. What will it be when she draws the full value off of the resurrection of Jesus Christ? I love that. I was the woman was eaten, dying, and she was redeemed as it was by her, and she was healed. He said, What is it going to be when she draw the full value off of the resurrection? Oh, we're going to draw the full value. We have to draw the full value. Oh, hallelujah. He redeemed your soul. He redeemed your spirit. He can redeem your body. You'll be drawing the full value of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Oh, give the Lord a shout. So now you can understand why Jesus could say, as a mortal man, destroy this body. And in three days, I, myself, I will raise it up myself. Destroy it. All you have to work with is three days. Within three days, I'll raise up myself. And when he died, he rose. Within three days. Oh, hallelujah. Try to touch. Don't touch me yet. I have not yet ascended to my father. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, body, passing through walls. Time, space. Hallelujah. No more time. No more space. No more distance. No more material. Nothing could stop you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He passed through all peace be unto you. It is I myself. Hand on me. Oh, give the Lord a shout in the house. This is real this morning. This is real this morning. This is real this morning. But that same resurrection power that came upon Jesus going to come upon you. Oh, give the Lord a shout. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. The earnest, you may be seated, is the down payment on anything that holds it secure. She's just got the earnest of it by being healed of a hideous cancer that will take a life. Now she's sitting there well and normal. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's talking about, and in Jesus laid a complete salvation, complete divine healing. If there's no divine healing, there's no resurrection of the dead. I like to wade over that. 
We have first fruit of our inheritance, the earnings of salvation, the little touch that we have. Watch, watch, watch. Hear what he's saying here now. The little touch that we have. When I walk up here to that screen, a while scream a while ago, and hear the screaming and praising God, and the Holy Spirit falling, and tears rolling down cheeks while we were singing, All Heal the Power of Jesus' Name. When I stood this morning, I heard that little duet this morning sing. And watch, that's the earnest, that's the down payment, that is something that a whole of it. Amen. There is the proof. Watch, it comes upon us and takes the desire of sin out of us. We have no more desire to sin. The worshiper once purged, then something then becomes perfect where we stand with the angelic choirs. When then, if divine healing is the earnest of our redeemed bodies, the earnest of our redeemed bodies, and if God can reach down and take cancer ridden Florence Nightingale, watch, and if God can reach down to that poor wretched mortal that couldn't even raise her hands to shake hands, couldn't speak till I could hear her, and put her to 150 pounds in perfect health, that is the earnest of our resurrected body. Oh, hallelujah. So you can understand what will drive rapture in faith. You will understand the supernatural and the power of God that is among the people to activate this rapture in faith among God's people. Oh, glory to God from Hujas Melchizedek. Like you women claiming you got the Holy Ghost. How could the spirit of God in you ever do such a thing wearing shorts and so on? It's not a filthy spirit, it's Holy Spirit. Now listen to this. When you become subject to that spirit, here we go. It shows your whole being subject to that spirit. And that spirit is nothing in the world but this seed word made manifest or quickened. Amen. That spirit is nothing but the seed word made manifest or quickened. So in other words, it comes right back to the secret is the word is in the bride. And then that word transforms into power. And that's the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God is the word made spirit and power in your life. So you're not coming to church in vain. You're coming to church to be seated down with the word. With the prophecy of the book. To get the word in you. This is what the devil could not understand. For the last 50 years. The bride was nailed down by the word. Spirit of prophecy. Testimony of Jesus. The living word. The word coming word by word by word. But now the spirit. The law of the spirit. The law of the spirit is in the word. Hallelujah. Going to transform that word in your life. Into spirit, into power. This is what the devil was not catering for. He taught me was me battered and bruised. Just between a long hard word battle. But it's not so. There's an appointed time. I will return unto thee. According to the time of life. And you're going to have that son. That's not talk now. That's not 25 years saying I'm going to have Isaac. No, no, no. This is the time of life now. This is the time to produce something. Oh, glory to God. When that egg hit that sperm, that was a conception. Isaac was on his way. It had nine months to him to come forth, but he was on his way. Oh, we have a right to be choice because I feel that egg hit that sperm. It's just a matter of time now for that baby to come forth. Oh, glory to God. How are you with me now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory. So when a man is born again from heaven, I'm going to back up a little bit. He's talking about a woman having a baby. Don't care how cruel she is. She gets really kind. What happened? There's a body. What? This body now is not alive yet. The only thing is flesh and muscles pumping. And when the baby comes out of the womb, God breathes the breath of life into it. And then it screams out. So the natural body is formed. And outside the womb, there's a spirit life to hit that body. And then you have a baby alive. Well, the reverse is also true. We are spirit babes in Christ. And outside of us have that body. That if this body fall down, we have a body to go into. Isn't that right? So here he's bringing it now. When a man is born again from heaven, he becomes a spirit babe in Christ. And when this robe of flesh is dropped, there's a natural body, theophany, a body not made with hands. Neither born of woman that we go into. And then that body returns back and picks up the glorified body that's the reason jesus went to hell when he died and preached souls in prison he turned back into theophany and if corinthians 5 1 if this earthly body be dissolved this earthly tabernacle we have another one we have bypassed that to come straight from god the attribute to be flesh to be tempted and tested by sin 
Aha. Uh -huh. So you bypass the attribute of God to be what? Tested and tempted by sin like Adam did. But when testing of his word is over, when we are taken up into this body that was prepared for us before the foundation of the world, it is the word there that we skipped to come right down to be tempted and tested. And if we come through that, there have been no temptation, we would know all things. The reason Jesus knew all things, he was word because he, before he was flesh. And then we become the word. And here we are to be formed to the word image, to be a partaker of the word, to feed on the word, and being predestinated since the beginning. You see that little spark of life that you had in you from the beginning when you started your journey? Many of you can remember it. You joined church. You tried this. Nothing satisfied. But one day you just recognize it. Then after you recognize the very word of God was eagle food, then you left the other thing. You have been formed into the living image of the living word. You heard from your theophany. If this earthly body be dissolved, we have one waiting. When Moses seen him, he seen him in a theophany. When Abraham saw him, he saw his name. He, saw, he called him Elohim. Isn't that right? He was in a theophany form. Notice, therefore, the theophany. Here we go. Are you ready? Everybody alive right now? Therefore, if you have died and entered into that theophany, what happens? Something is revealing here. The theophany comes to earth to pick up the redeemed body. If you are here in the air, you take the body to meet the theophany. There you are. You are caught up to meet the Lord in the air. So those that are dying, they have to come back for the redeemed body. Those that are here have to leave with the redeemed body. Pick up the theophany. So we have to connect. We will not hinder those that are asleep. Oh, give the Lord a shout. Oh, glory to God. You come from God. You're going right back to God. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. Now the world, how did he redeem the world? First, he did when it sinned. He washed it with water baptism. He dropped his blood on it. And then now he tore the world out of you. And renovated the whole thing by the fiery baptism of the Holy Ghost. With which he will renovate the earth. Amen. So watch. It showed plainly. The, watch. The natural birth is tree. Water. Then blood. Then spirit. Isn't that right? What happened to a plant that rots? The stalk. The tassel. This is shock. Then the grain comes out. Watch. Showing plainly. Are you ready? The predestinated is the only one that is considered in redemption. Amen. Did you get that? Yeah. Let me say that again. The predestinated is the only one that is considered in redemption. People might think they are making like they are, but the real redemption is those that are predestinated because the very word redeem means to bring back. To redeem is to bring back to its original. Bring back to the original. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Almost finished here now. Praise be to God. Now watch. From the breach. Watch. He said he comes forth from eternity yonder. And then he's the kingdom redeemer. He holds it all. He called the contestant hand Satan. They are mine now. I've raised him up from the grave. He take all the liars and perverters of the word. All them like that with Satan and destroy them in a lake of fire. Now watch. What happened from verse 8 to 14? We read it. And I behold, alone in the midst of the throne, the four beasts, Elder stood a lamb, seven spirits, seven church ages, seven messengers that kept the fire burning. And they took the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Now watch. What's he done? Watch what taking place. You talk about a jubilee. This is exactly the breaking of them seas. Look what take place. All creation is groaning. No one know what to do. John was weeping. Man fell and lost it. No man was able to do anything but redeem anymore. Isn't that right? No priest, no pope could redeem it. No Mary. But here in the future, tonight, he's a mediator. And then those under the altar prayed so long. They prayed for redemption. They prayed for res re resurrection. We have got a representative. We have got a kinsman. He comes to make claims. Isn't that right? Amen. He wanted to come back. Watch. They wanted to come back. 
they are going to be back as kings and priests glory he said i feel good to speak in tongues he said i don't have enough language he said i beheld and i heard the voice of many angels he said talk about the jubilee when they seen the lamb come and take the blood of redemption the soul scream out we will get it all everything the elders fell down they poured out the prayers of the saints they were presented a kinsman represent a kinsman for us they fell upon their faces they sang a new song thou art worthy and i heard the voice of many angels around about the throne and thousands time thousands and thousands sing with a loud voice worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor what a jubilee going on in heaven as the lamb leaves the intercessory box watch to come and possess his claims oh hallelujah hallelujah what he died for what he purchased for he's coming to get oh hallelujah praise god amen and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth underneath the earth such as in the sea all that is there and heard me say blessing honor glory power him that sat upon the throne you talk about the jubilee you talk about the time when the lamb walked forth the book sealed the mysteries is my name there i don't know i hope it is but if it is it was put on there before the foundation of the world if your name is on that book that was put there before the foundation of the world oh glory to god and when he opened the book and tore off the seals and sent it down to the earth to his seven angels to reveal it to the people oh my what happened the scream the shouts the hallelujah the anointing the power the glory the manifestation old john who had been standing there crying said everything in heaven heard i holler and say blessing and honor might power unto him the very forever you talk about a happy time john must have looked in past the curtain of time and said there is john he was so happy Happy, everything in heaven he must have cried out everything in heaven everything under the earth said blessing and honor might and power dominion unto the lamb forever and ever my god you may not have bread tomorrow to eat but your name is on that book you don't know why you're paying your pills you don't know where you're getting money to pay your rent you don't have a good bed to sleep on but your name is on that book old john must have said blessing honor might and power dominion unto the lamb forever oh glory to god but Abraham said, why are they be shepherds? No wonder the mountains jump and shouted on that day. When Jesus died, no wonder the mountains jump and shouted that day. No wonder all nature broke loose. The wind shook the trees. They shook and shook and jumped for joy. They seen the prophet shepherd. They seen the old nature was redeemed. They scream and jump. The world went in an earthquake. The rocks fell off. Hallelujah everything has taken place like in any meeting when the shepherd reveals to you it is finished your sin is finished the world is finished your redemption is finished final quote I have seen jumping spells, joy spells, nobody hurt. The mountains rung out, the sun went down, everything took place. Nobody was hurt. I have seen meetings when the power of God was revealed to the people that they were free from the world and the things of the world. The joy of the Lord filled the congregation. They stood, they screamed, they cried, they shouted to the top of their voice for the glory of God. I never seen anything disorderly. And that's always right in order because they recognize that their name that's been written in the Lamb Book of Life the great prophet shepherd had brought them the message and they were delivered the prophet shepherd no matter what the other ecclesiastical system they know what took place may the lord bless you oh give the lord a shout has the lord revealed to you your name your name in the lamb spoke oh hallelujah hallelujah may the lord bless you A shout give him a shout of praise this morning hallelujah 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 oh blessed be your holy name oh hallelujah hallelujah oh how many appreciate the message today oh hallelujah how many want to worship this morning how many want to praise god hallelujah 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 turn on greet your brother turn on greet your sister oh we shall be changed oh and we shall be changed oh we're going to be changed from this mortal 
to immortality. Oh, in the twinkling of who and I. Oh, it's okay to dance, cause we, we, we shall be changed. I know we shall be weak. Oh, we're going to be changed from this mortal oh, to immortality. Oh, in a twinkling of an eye, oh, we shall be weak. Oh, in the morning we, we shall be changed. I know that we will be changed, changed from, oh, to immortality. shall come back to earth again. Oh, well, I know our Lord is coming back to earth again. Oh, I know our Lord is coming back to earth again. Oh, well, Satan will be back a thousand years. We have no tempter then. When our Jesus shall come back to earth. Oh, give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. City where the lamb is the light. Well, in that city, in that city where the lamb is the light. In that city, in that city where the come at no night. Oh, how there's a mansion over there. Oh, we'll be free from toils and snares. I am going where the lamb is. Oh, one more time. From toils and cares, I am going where the Lamb is the light. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God and many, many men. Oh, somebody shout and praise God. How can we help but speak of the things that we have seen and heard? Somebody praise God this morning. There's no more sorrow across the bridge. 
Somebody praise him. There's no more pain. Oh, it might be dark right now, but tell the devil, the sun will shine. Woo! Across the river. Oh, come on, somebody smile. And we'll never be unhappy again. Many man, what a message today. You appreciate Brother Ovid, appreciate the pastor. Hey, many man, what an anointing! Praise God. Give me a key for uh, 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 you are God alone, amen. From before time began, feel like praising, pre like worshiping him a little bit. I feel like joining Revelation 5. He read Revelation 5 this morning, isn't that right? The elders worship, the four beasts worship. Hallelujah. John saw his name in the book. I feel like John this morning. I, I saw something this morning. And I want to worship him. I've seen something this morning. Oh, hallelujah. I want to praise him. Oh, why don't you lift your hands now? Why don't you open up your hearts to him this morning one more time as we worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, you are God alone. Oh, from before time began. God alone, oh, and right now, oh, in the good times and bad, oh, you are on your throne, oh, and you are God, you are God, well, you are God alone, from before time began, oh, praise Him, you are on your throne, hallelujah. You are God, oh, you are God, well, you are God alone, oh, from before time began, oh, and you are on your throne, oh, and you are God alone, well, and right now, in the good times and bad, oh, and you are on your throne.
this morning. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You appreciate the Lord this morning. You appreciate the Holy Spirit. You appreciate the ministry this morning, the message. You appreciate Brother Ovid this morning. Amen. We do have one prayer request from Brother Hugh Williams for his niece, Camelita. She suffers with lupus and is currently in the intensive care unit. We want to pray for the salvation of her soul, her healing, and for deliverance. Can we bow our heads in a word of prayer? Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to your throne once more, Lord, for healing is a children's bread, Lord. And Lord, we pray for Camelita right now, Lord, that wherever she is, the Holy Spirit would drop down in that room, Lord, and touch her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Father. Lord, may you heal her completely, Lord. And Father, through this experience, may she come to know you, Lord. May you, Lord, give her an experience with salvation and deliverance, Lord. We know you are prayer answering, God. And Lord, for anyone else, Lord, here today or on the internet or where this tape might be played, Father. Lord, we pray that you touch your people in a special way, Father. Lord, we pray a special blessing on your manservant and our pastor, Brother Ovid, Lord, that you would touch him in his body. Lord, we see the burden on his heart and the labor, the labor, Lord, to see your people ready for the soon coming, Lord. Get into rapturing condition. Get a hold of rapturing faith, Father. Oh, God, may you touch him and his wife, touch the family, Lord. And oh, may you bless your people, Lord, those that are here and those on the internet, Lord. May you grant traveling mercies as we prepare to leave this house, but not from your presence. Lord, we love you, we worship you, we thank you, we praise you. Lord, we Lord, we don't even have enough words to express how we feel, Lord. Lord, to be predestinated for such a time as this, Lord. Lord, may you bless each one in the precious name of Jesus Christ. And the church says, Amen. Amen. You may be seated for a few announcements.